Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl, Sunshine Monet L. Today is 8278. We are closing in on the third decade of the eighth month in the eighth year. These eights is all about Sebek. These are the class, the classifications, the, the technicians of classifying and labeling. Eight deals with Pluto and transformation, building and destroying, empowerment, the enforcement of my act, wherever you may be on that spectrum. We're dealing with occultism here. Oya rolls over the elders, the witches, and the marketplace. We have extremities following the currencies and how things flow, the manipulation of the waters. That's all the energy of the apes, right? Especially as we enter this hurricane season and we're going to get lit. So, in this month of eight, we are on the day of the two seven, preparing us pre gaming for the nine gang gang, and it just so happened on this day of nine, we're getting ready to enter the nine month, which is ruled by Virgo energy. We are in uh on a day of nine, finding balance in our Libra scales two and seven. We're dealing with the heart chakra heavy here, right? Whether you're dealing with the Taurus of two or priorities and value and love and the levels of love and you know how you value yourself. Um and other people and people place things and stuff like that um and then you have the seven libra scales making sure what's going on inside of your heart is being reflected on the outside of your heart and not the other way around right and then you have you know seven being the number of god two being the number of wisdom bringing you into that nine what are we giving birth to when we put the internal side and the external side of your heart chakra together what did you give birth to today from your heart what did your heart give life to today where did where is your heart taking you today because i know you guys we're following it today right mercury went prograde today um we'll talk about that in the astrological report shortly but that is another representation of our heart and following the nines um so we're going to take that nine of what we give birth to from following our heart chakra and we're going to put that to the year of the eight you know the year of the eight not we're not in the year yet into the month of the eight we're going to put that into the month of the eight and it's beautiful to put that in the month of eight because what it does is it gives us a time to edit the things that our heart takes us because our heart wants to do everything. You know what I'm saying? It wants to do everything, go everywhere and be all and all be all because it's an energy. It's not restraint to the physical rules, the rules of the physical world, but you are. So we're going to take that month of eight and do a little building, destroying a little editing, a little transformation and some sense of empowerment when forcing the things that you have going on in your heart and what you want go on and so that brings us into the knowledge of seven so we went from the wisdom of seven to the knowledge of seven right so we're going to take that cardinal action energy that one that aries ogun vibe that solar plexus chakra uh and put it with our seven with our heart chakra making sure what's going on inside our heart is being reflected on the outside with those libra scales that seven of god and that brings us to an eight another day of having three eights right ashe so now we have come into this eight of building and destroying and transformation and empowerment from taking action on our heart, finding that knowledge and wisdom in our heart. So we're going to take that eight and we're going to put it into the year of eight. This is the year of the wood dragon. High highs make low lows. The goal is to be the homeostasis in the middle. So we're going to bring those two eights together and that's going to bring us to a one and six, right? So now we have knowledge on the sense of equality, what we wish to do in our health, wealth, daily routine, our moral and integral code, what we're listening to, what we're speaking on, what we're teaching and what we're learning. So Overall, today is a day of seven. So we go from the two seven to the one seven to an actual seven. And if you notice, that's been the pattern, you know, since we've been in the third decade of the month of having that that alignment with the wisdom, the knowledge and just now it's just putting you in that space of seven. So it's all about the Libra scales. It's all about the interpersonal relationships, the bonds and contracts and how you put forth those energies and really following your heart chakra today. That's what's key. So let's talk about the astrological astronomical report. We start the day off at a 42% wanting crescent moon, moon rising, no set time for rising moon setting at 3:48 p.m we are in gemini in our mindset so today our mindset was all about community and communication and, and our intellect um we are in taurus and this idea on constellation so heart heart chakra again hat in our happenings in the first house with it you know taking that cardinal energy um putting it towards uh our our appearance like our overall energy about where our mindset is in Gem gemini and our happenings in our heart chakra towards prioritizing and it's our community that, 
you know, is filling our, our general appearance and our aura energy as the first house is in Gemini. Sunrise at 6.23 a.m. and setting at 7.38 p.m. The moon and Aldebaran are in conjunction at 6.58 p.m. The moon is 9.4 degrees north. The moon and Jupiter are at minimal angle at 5.01 a.m. The moon is 5.4 degrees north-northwest. Conjunction at 9.15 a.m. The moon is 5.5 .5 degrees north visible at those respective times. So now we have that generosity and expansion happening to our intuitive self. We start the day off with that. The east side of the moon, Mayor Chrysium, is tipped into view at 6.48 p.m. Mercury is stationary at 8.42 p.m. and begins the procreate motion. Mars enters Gemini constellation at 12 p.m. So now in our motivational realm, we have that that energy of the community and communication and be feeling more ambitious and motivated towards doing things for our community and we talk about the gemini community we're talking about like you know people in your neighborhood maybe the tri-city area um people you went to school with grew up with you know your parents grandparents cousins siblings um the energy of that nature <laughs> Um, there's a triangle with the moon, Mars, and Jupiter about an hour before sunrise that happened this morning at 5.30 a.m. So you have your intuition with your ambition and expansion on the connection of both happening with Jupiter. The moon and Elnath are at cultation at 1.45 p.m. This is the Beta Tauri. Um, the tip of the left horn of the Taurus constellation is about four to five times larger than our sun. Everything is larger than our sun. Um, and this brings on the energy of business success, neutrality for good, um, and this star also has on the energy of Mars and Mercury. So we have that ambitious, motivational energy, cardinal energy, and applying it to our health, well, daily health, wellness, and daily routine. You know, the one seven energy um, that we spoke on. And so that's what I got for you today, my cosmic nobodies. We have the moon aligning with, you know, um, various planets and stars to give you that ambition and that motivation and that expansion that you need. Mercury is going prograde, so you find your daily routine unfolding a lot faster and the things that you are harvesting unfolding a lot faster, especially as we get closer and closer to uh, eclipse season happening on 9-17. And now with um, Mars entering Gemini constellation, you'll see Mars, uh, you know, your community, you know, coming more in your space to support you being more motivated by your community and your space. So whereas Mars, when it was in Gemini tropical chart or gemini zodiac energy it was more so a thought but now it's more action and more happening around you so don't be surprised if you start attracting more people in your space to collaborate with to do things with more community events um we're coming together and working together and putting your hands together in the physical world um and that's what i got for you today my cousin nobodies enjoy <laughs>